channel. Happy holidays. I hope everyone's had a great holiday season, had a wonderful Christmas, and here we are. It's the new year. So I wanted to do my top 10 favorite thrift finds video. I did this in 2022 and I really liked it. So I figured we would do it again. And I will show you them and then also show you clips into when I bought them because I film pretty much every time I go thrifting. And so I have all this footage and I'm like, let's look back at the year and see all the goodies we found and saved so much money doing. So subscribe if you haven't yet. How about we start with number one. We landed on the coach bag. As you can see, it has a mini stain. This is what I do. Boom. No stain to be found. Also, this light is super like, you know, intense. So it really is not that bad IRL. And I love the size. I've worn it so many times. I feel like the color is a little different, but it's very much giving 2023 color vibes. And this was my color of the year. I also love these jewel tone purples. Purple is like really taking off right now. I'm obsessed with these magenta cargos. I mean, I probably will bring them up again because I think they are so fun. They're Veronica Beard for me personally. And my predictions, which I do trend predictions if you didn't know about that. on sale and so of course I found it it's $20 it's coach I wear my black coach buckle bag constantly and I think this is really in great condition the inside's also kind of fun but it did have a little stain on it which my mom was so precious and got out pretty much I mean it's still kind of there but like whatever honestly the hardware is really nice and it's literally probably from the same year or pink like bag as my black one which you'll probably see in this video because I pulled it out but I think it's so cute and it looks really good with this top up, like pulls out the berry color so slay first look i think is amazing so that was number one adorable number two voila we have the dolce vita metallic flats i think these are the epitome of 2023 i feel like in 2023 we really brought back the ballet flat and the girly preppy bow vibe kind of giving what's it called kind of giving Blair Waldorf 2016 but also very modern with the whoa with the cracked you know metallic silver is obviously huge and the square toe so I got these actually on Poshmark which might be like cheating for thrifting but between this and another shoe bundled I believe these were $20 so that is I don't plan very well <laughs> moral of the story but obsessed i just got these and i was gonna do an unboxing video of thrift finds that i've gotten recently but i honestly just think it'll be too chaotic and basically this is gonna be a mix and match of that i know her outfit isn't doing this but i wanted to like button it i had in my head that hers was buttoned so i think i'm gonna button it sorry i'm just like really into this granny moment okay granny but cool I'm not gonna wear this outfit to work. I think it's a great little fit. I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and realizing one day I'm gonna look at this outfit and think, no, what's going on there? However, I'm kind of into it, so I'm gonna wear it, okay? Anyway, next up is this cute button up top. This actually I thrifted in Arizona with my sister and my mom. We went to a bunch of thrift stores. That is one of my favorite thrift with me vlogs check it out i will actually put all these videos in the link of this description so that you can check it out re-look at all the stuff that i've done this year and then maybe subscribe or if you are a subscriber and you're bored binge some of my old videos so we'll take a look back at me talking about these. it's a birthday girl gonna go shopping. she going shopping getting it freaking five dollars or it was like three on sale or something my sister said i don't know you have got to go here if you are from here um it's amazing the furniture this little chair i would buy that in a minute 50 bucks all right we're back let's do a mini haul we had some margaritas what she bought a, you bought a book that's like the last in a series i've read those books but it's the second in a this coatless spin-off I think I've read them. The selection series. The, yeah, but you have to have read the betrothed. No, it's that's just, the first one. This is the second one. 
No, oh. excerpt from the new series inside, The Betrothed. It's a new series. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay, anyway. I had a singular margarita. So I ended up getting that. this. Oh my god, my We'll see what it looks Ooh. like. Yeah. I also got we got some oranges <laughs> from Ted Baker. She had three margaritas. <laughs> um, hey, this is so cute. Look. Wait, it's better. Yeah. <laughs> Show it the front side. There you go. <laughs> no, I know. I was showing them the cute part. So it has this like gorgeous pin tuck moment and then applique. It reminds me a lot of one I saw on the runways recently. How I want to wear this, I don't know. I think like I've seen people wear like, you know, they're doing this a lot. But like unless you're literally walking around like this, hey, okay, like you look like this, right? So I think we'll make her cool by rolling up the sleeves. Step one, always roll up the sleeves in my opinion. I think it just makes you look casual, cool, like chill girl. So boom. And then, like this obviously is like that mandarin collar, so it's not very open. I think we should do a full tuck. Well, let's start with a one tuck and see how that looks. Okay, I'm not a complete hater. I popped one side of the collar so it's like uneven. Kind of adorable. Pretty casual, pretty cute. I would literally wear this to the office. I don't know if I can wear jean shorts. I think I can if they're like long enough. But here I have it with the fun little silver pants. I feel like I'm giving like Sandro, Maj, I don't know, Cezanne, like one of those, you know, European bronze. Like maybe it needs to be more cool. Like I should like put on black heels. I am absolutely wearing this to work next time I go in. So freaking cute. I'm gonna go for these heels that absolutely kill my feet. Um, and I still haven't gotten rid of them because I think they're so cute. I'm like, it might be worth the pain. I think it'll take one more wear for me to be like, yeah. Super cute for cocktails or whatever. You know, have this steak down. What do you think? I think this might be my favorite look in a while. Be. All right, next up. This one I thrifted with my friend. I don't even know if I have video on it, but I did wear it a lot in LA, which is why I initially thought I may have thrifted this in LA, but I did thrift it in New York. I actually thrifted it at the same time as this other one, but I don't think I filmed it because it was very nonchalant, impromptu thrift day, and it was killer. Crazy. Okay, moving on to this little corset top, which is a problem child, but I'm going to show you just because I thrifted it. If you look at it here, so cute. I love the like vibe. It has these like built-in little cups and then the brand is... West Gordon, like it's very nice. You can just tell the quality, you know, it's fully lined. There, there's real boning in it. It's very cute, right? Okay, my friend convinced me I would fit in it, but there was no like trying on. So I might literally just like give it to her because she's way tinier than me, but like, hang on. Okay, so it's on, right? And like the cups, ooh, the cups just like are non-existent and like I look droopy. I literally feel like at any second, like I literally pop out. This might be a little too risque for the internet. I don't know. I could take this little strap that's meant to hang up the clothes you know and put it like right here and then it would stay up like this you know what i mean and like that's pretty cute and beachy but let me know if i'm like being a little too risque and now we're gonna head to venice this is my outfit of the day i've been waiting for this outfit i actually might wear in the hamptons again to be honest these pants i got from h and they're sold out now but like i swear h and has really good linen-y blend pants this top drum roll please I got thrifting at the Goodwill with Meg a few weeks ago and I sewed the little straps on that were like the the loops because it's just a little baggy but I think it's gonna be okay let's hope nothing springs loose I do have a safety pin just in case anyway. next up is another thrift find I got this for my sister she was like I don't want it I don't need it and I threw it in one of my thrift hauls it's so beautiful I mean are you freaking kidding me it's very Carrie Bradshaw, Uptown Girls, 90s rom-com. It has these beautiful ruffles and little details. I also know that 3D florals and embellishment and things like this are super in for 2023. So I feel like this is very accurate. Even like the shape of the neckline, the spaghetti strap. It's just so 2023. And I want to wear this for my birthday. Tossing this in here because it's just so stunning. I can't not. My sister does the same thing as me. Goes through her closet, packs everything up, takes it back home. My mom resells it for us. So she had two suitcases of things that I picked from. The big showstopper is her. 
I love it. Again with the length. I'm not sure it's really like my vibe. I don't know. It's so beautiful. Look at the detail. I love, I think this design and like detailing is going to be so in. I feel like it already is, but I think it'll get to the mass markets in like the next year. So next summer, like you'll literally see this at all the brands. And I just am obsessed. And I put it in a claw clip because it's giving very much, you know, Jennifer Aniston or like who is that woman from Uptown Girls? Molly? When she smiled, but her real name isn't Molly. I literally don't remember her name. Megan Murphy? Megan Murphy. I can easily Google this, but I don't want to move my camera. So stunning. I want advice because this is how I want to wear it, right? Like this. But do we shorten it? Or is that, is it making it untimeless? I think if it was like right here. And maybe the fix is literally like flipping it up like this right here. Let me know what you think. I'm going to put a vote on my Instagram as well. But should I shorten it? And if so, here or like here, you know? Thanks. Also, so sweet. Okay. I do think I'm going to shorten it. I know everyone told me, don't shorten it, don't ruin that dress. But honestly, you got to live your own truth. And my truth is a little leg, okay? Sue me. Sorry you didn't find it first. Okay, so that was number five. So here we have number six. This one I actually thrifted in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at the crossroads. It's Zara, which I feel like thrifting Zara is kind of a sleigh because people that shop at Zara, we all know them. They go in, they grab their outfit for the weekend, they have it in their closet, then they buy more for every weekend, and then sooner than later, they're like, oh, I don't need this, let's drop it off at the Goodwill or the crossroads and get a little money back and then keep shopping at Zara. And the quality of Zara is good. Like, this is fully lined. I love it. I've worn this way more than I anticipated. I did see it and immediately think, oh my god, I freaking need that. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. I've worn it with jeans. I've worn it with mini skirts. I recently wore it in a holiday outfits video. I think she's perfect and she's really cute with like little dresses. So a cropped blazer, tweed jacket, like very preppy vibe. Obsessed. This is like the epitome of my style. <laughs> So obsessed, I was like, oh my god, I need that. And I'm so glad I did because I have been wearing it so much. If you follow me on Instagram or anything, you'll have seen that I've literally worn all of these outfits except for one with this blazer, and I got this a month ago. So, first outfit that I've worn so much, and I wanted to add this little bow. I got this bow at Anthropology. It's so cute, if you can see it. It's like a little expensive for a bow, $20, but I have been wearing it so much. I think it adds like so much to an outfit, and I get so many compliments when I wear it. It's very like, you know, preppy, girly. So anyway, second way I would wear this, I actually wore this to get tea at the plaza with my mom while she was visiting, which that video will be up next week. This is a theory dress that I thrifted. Here's the jacket. I'm realizing it's like so dark. I don't know if you can see my outfit in my pigeon. Oh well. Um, here it is. I love these cargo pants. These are also Zara. It's giving Zara, but these are very old. Actually, literally almost everything I put with this Zara is Zara. <laughs> and for the grand finale, this is how I wore it the first time. I got so many compliments on this outfit. I love these jeans. These jeans are Zara. Old, of course. Um, but I love them for the fit. They're a little worn out. You can't totally see. But at the bottoms, they're like very discolored. My shoes are thrifted. These little pointed toe metallic girlies. So I'm so happy with that purchase. Next, this one I got at like kind of the beginning of the year with my mom in Kansas City. I believe it was over the holidays, so technically like after Thanksgiving. I feel like it counts, right? So this is like a little crochet girl. I got this at the River Market Vintage Store, I believe, and I was really drawn to it. I know crochet has been super in. It's all over the runways, and I was like, this summer I really want to wear this in the Hamptons. And I did. And I wore it in Arizona. And I've worn it a bunch. I think it's so nice. And it's made really well. It's actually inside out from hanging my closet. But it has these fun little buttons. And I just love it. So, really cute. <laughs> Crochet is all over the spring 23 runways and this makes me so excited for summer. I thought this would be a great top to wear over a swimsuit or literally like this with a jean short. So I got this. Is it worth 39? No. 
I would buy it from Zara. From Zara. True. Clearly, I have warmer weather on my mind. I don't know that I love it like this with these wet pants. I thought I would in person, in, in my head. Let's do it with this just as a guitar. In my head, I was thinking to wear this with like sticky boobs or something to make sure it doesn't like take away from it, but, and so my little bra doesn't pop out. But in New York in the summer, it just like is not possible for sticky boobs to stay. Like see how it kind of shows right here, which we don't love, right? But look how elegant, like, oh my God. Major Hamptons girl vibes. Rich, rich coastal niece, coastal granddaughter in the house. We just need to fix what's going on here. Any suggestions? It's just like half an inch too high up because it's definitely not made to be a top, but I want it to be. Um, anyway, moving along. Okay, and then I also had it as a dress. Okay, this dress is from Aritzia. I believe it's a Wilfred. I don't know that it fits that well. I think it might have been shrunk because the lining is bigger than the base fabric. So I probably should sell this, but I just love the like cut up here. Everything else I feel is just a little too snug. This is like very much 90s girl at you. Next up is another Poshmark find. I, again, scroll Poshmark like it's my day job. I I've been obsessed with the sequin trend. This one is a little bit big, which I kind of will browse. I wish it was one size smaller. It is a size small, but it's very much stretched out and I want it to fit like just a little less. It's very heavy, like I don't know. I really like it though. I think it's very cool with like the boat neck. You can see these on like Net-A-Porte. People are dropping the, like $250 on these things. I got mine for $25 and I think it's literally so pretty and I love the yellow. Yellow is also huge for 2023 and I think it will continue to be huge but it really peaked this summer. For me, anyway. I got this thrifted um, for $24, $22. I can't believe it. She had it posted for like 50. I just offered a low, low, low amount. She said, okay, sure. And I was like slaying. So I love this color. I love the sequin trend. <laughs> you can see I'm in my embellished sequin vibe. I think the best way to wear this would be dressed down. So like, yes, you could wear this with like a little short skirt and make it very like going out to a club. But I think with a cargo and like tennis shoes, it's more in trend, like stylistically wise style wise you know what i'm saying so i really like this i think it's a little bit big but i kind of like it like it's very cozy and it doesn't like scratch my arm i mean i haven't worn it for like that long but i think because it's low enough to my arms like i'm good but look at it up close it's vintage inc and it's like a sweater material so she's a stretchy girly and i am into her like you could do a top maybe a vibe right you're into it aren't you i just know you are i just feel I like there's so many opportunities with this and it's such a fun closet find so i love thrifting like trends and things that are like maybe one-offs because you're not totally investing in it and it's not so fast fashion even if you don't wear it every day you know it's not like a pair of denim jeans or something okay not the camera dying what's freaking new i swear it's like i need to start my videos on a fresh battery here's number nine these shorts i wore in les hampties so cute so i thrifted this in la which was a fun experience i went with my friend we tried on a bunch of stuff and i love it the brand My bank account and the fact that I had a carry-on saved me from buying so much stuff. I feel like I never have enough going out tops, but this was a little too skimpy for me. As soon as I saw these shorts, I knew that I needed them. I've been obsessed with this belt detail for so long. I'm so happy that I found something. This was on the designer rack. I always suggest going to like the curated racks, even though they're priced a little higher. Like this was $40, which is one of the most expensive that I've seen, but it was so cute. So here we have the next thing I got at the crossroads. This was, I think, $40. It's Palm Nusa, never heard of her. So freaking cute. I really wanted a pair of like Farm Rio or what are the other cute brands? Like Alice and Olivia, Chloe, like Love Shack Fancy, all those cute ass brands that did these covered belts mm, probably two summers ago. I don't care. I love everything. And I was so excited to see these because first of all, they're great for the Hamptons. I wore them there, Slade. 
and also I love this colorway. I'm obsessed with orange and pink and I just think it's so cute and it's interesting because I do wovens for work in the fashion industry. I'm a designer and this is printed stripes and not yarn dye stripes because it's on an eyelet but it doesn't look cheap at all. Like the way I know it's not yarn dyed and it's printed is because the back is white so if you have a shirt or something that you can see the other side is white it's usually printed on top of versus like a woven through yarn dyed print it comes from the yarns being dyed before they're woven up if that makes sense there's a little lesson i'm gonna start doing more lessons i've heard you like the lessons okay color in there like that so i think it goes really well and yeah just like an easy tea Still kept the gladiator on because she slays. And I actually think I might wear this to work tomorrow. Or I might save this for a more shopping day because it's just so hot in Manhattan. I'm like gonna die. So next, while I was in Hamptons, this is what I wore with this little corset top. I know it's super similar to the one I just showed, but unfortunately to an untrained eye, you would think that, but to me, it's very, very different, okay? So that one had a lot of going on here. It was more cropped and had you know the gold and the shell this one however is more simplified okay there's not a, a gold anything on it the design details are more simplistic so it can go with a very fun pant okay anyway these shoes are from sam edelman i got them for a wedding didn't return on time so kept them and the other shoes sign me up you know so this brings me to my last thrift find favorite so i went thrifting with my friend and we went to the goodwill and i wasn't really expecting to buy anything this is the same day that i bought that corset i was just talking about the blue one and i bump into this beautiful texture and i see it in the skirt section and i'm immediately drawn to it obviously it's shiny it's fun it's girly it's bubbly i was like wow this looks like love shack fancy it's from zara and then i was walking around and the staff member comes over and goes oh look it's a set and I was like oh my god amazing like what am I gonna I was like oh wow like that this is definitely a set right and then I felt like I had to buy it it was like eight dollars so I've never worn it together because it is a little much the top is a little crazy I've never worn it in public I've worn it in a few videos for funsies but I do think like she is going to have her moment I feel like I should wear it maybe this holiday season like I don't know it is really fun and then I've worn this skirt like in a more casual way in the summer with a baby tee some slides and i felt like it looked really cute and it's this little skirt and it comes with this matching top but i wanted to style them up in two different ways to really showcase like how versatile matching sets can be also i'm not totally sold on this top to be honest so bear with me first look originally i had thought to put this on with this sweater and i tried it on and it was just like not giving what i wanted it to give so i decided i don't like it with this which is what i had in mind when i was like thrifting it and i think it looks better with like a white blouse i really like this blouse it was from a sample sale i just tucked it in and put on my little shoots boots but this would also be cute with like more of a wedge maybe i got these last summer and they're really cute but they're made so poorly i got them at through an influencer so i had no idea where they were from and they're from nasty gal of all places kind of random right okay wait i think it looks so cute with the wedges a little more spring forward it's so adorable i want to wear this brunch immediately like literally this weekend i freaking love this outfit here it is on with the top. It's so 80s with the top. I mean, I know the bubble skirt, pretty 80s, 90s, but with the freaking bow, I'm just like screaming holiday in the 80s. I don't know. Here it is untucked and then I'll tuck it in, but I kind of like, you can see the stripe direction like this, kind of fun. I guess this is super cute too. I don't know. I feel like you would need to have this like at a very specific party or something. Wait, I'm falling in love with this outfit. I love these shoes with it. It's so like party girl, fun, squirrely, night on the town. Now I need to go get cocktails in this, don't you think? Do we love it? Are we are we into the set together? Do I remove the book? This is it without the book. I think it's just like a very fun piece. And like I was saying with thrifting, I just love thrifting stuff that is maybe a little more quirky or trendy or spooky specific because it is cheaper it's usually you know under twenty dollars at least and when you go shopping shopping you could buy the same thing i'm sure somebody spent like a hundred dollars on this maybe even more and what did i do i spent 20 tops 
So I'm just like really loving it. And I think if thrifting is something that you've been interested in, maybe it's something you want to do for the new year. Like maybe something like that. I have a video of tips and tricks and things that you should think about when you go thrifting. And then I also just want to say that I think it really has to do with how much you thrift. Put it into your monthly routine. Like, I probably went thrifting like 20, 25 times this year. These are some of my favorite things, but every time you thrift, you might not find something. You can't really go in with high expectations and you need to be aware of what's in trend, what like what's in stores right now to really keep have that eye to pick something out and be like, this looks like it could be new. This isn't, you know, some airy t-shirt. There's a hundred different airy t-shirts and then one beautiful sequin sweater. So keep that in mind when you're thrifting and try to go a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me. Come hang out with me this winter. We're going to be doing so much thrifting. I'm sure. I'm sure I just got done thrifting a ton with my mom and my sister. We're all back for the holidays and I'm sure there's going to be, you know, so much more to come. I'm not going anywhere. I'd love for you to subscribe. I had a, you know, like number in my head that I wanted to be at by 2024, but also everything happens on its own plan. I'm not going to pressure myself or anything. I feel like if I just keep doing what I what I'm doing, loving and staying true to me, it'll all come around full circle. I'm also open to new opportunities, you know, and I'm so looking forward to 2024. I feel like it's going to be a really blessed year. I feel like 2024 just sounds like a good vibe. 2023 is a little weird. 3 2 3 2 4. It's a good number. So, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you had a wonderful break, wonderful new year, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.